Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today I decided to do a video on the look I'm wearing right now. Um, it's like a back to school like drugstore makeup look. Um, all the products I use are like from the drugstore or from like Primark or something. Like they're all like cheap products. Um, yeah, and I just want to do this like quick and easy, like going to school look, just to help you out. Maybe if you're like looking for some products or you're not really sure what makeup to wear. I just decided to do this like quick and simple look. Yeah, so I hope you like this video. Um, if you do, give it a thumbs up. And let's just get started on the video. Okay, so to start off today, I have no makeup on and I have just cleansed my face. So I'm just gonna pop on a bit of serum. I'm using the Hey Honey Good Morning Facial Serum. I don't know if you can see that there. So that's what it looks like there. I'm just gonna put like two pumps onto my face. You can use whatever primer you fancy. I just use this because it's a serum and it's a primer. Um, but whatever primer you use yourself, just feel free to use. And I'm moving on to foundation. I'm gonna do my trusty combo of the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Poreless in 110 and the LA Girl Pro Coverage in Porcelain. So I'm gonna do like a lot of this one and then like a drop of this one because this one's really, really, really light but it is a little bit yellow. So I mix this one in with it because it's a little bit more pink and it does, if I put in too much, it'll darken it too much. But if you use just a little bit of this one, you get a good color. And I'm gonna add in just a little bit of the PS Pearl Body and Face Highlighter, um, just to like give it a little bit more of a like luminous, fresh look. Now I'm going to blend all this in with the Primark um, Large Stippling Brush, I think that's what it's called. It's 101. Um, these are from the new like Pro Brush range and I absolutely love this one for foundation. It's so like light and like fluffy and it just really blends foundation really well. So if you're looking at the new PS Pro brushes, I would definitely recommend this one. Cool, so now moving on to brows. I decided to do my brows on camera today because I never do my brows on camera. Um, and I've kind of changed up how I do them a little bit. And also like when you're going to school, you don't want them as dramatic, like as you would wear them going out. Well, I I don't know, lately I've kind of been preferring a little bit more natural. At the front, not at the end. Like I still keep it like quite fine at the end. But um, yeah, so I just thought I'd show you how I do my brows now that it's kind of changed. Um, I am going to be using the MAC Brow Gel Cream in True Brunette, um, but a like cheaper drugstore version would be the Sleek Brow Kit, which I'm also going to be dipping into because I use the, I think this is the dark one, yeah I use the dark gel to do my tail of my brow because I feel like the True Brunette is a little bit light, so I actually use like a combination of the two of them, but for a more affordable one you can just use the Sleek one on its own. So, yeah, I'm just going to fill in my brows now, and that's it. I had a lot of coffee this morning, so I'm like, buzzing.
yeah so that's basically it it's so much quicker than it used to be oh my god it used to take me like at least a half an hour to do my brows and now I can get them done in about I'd say I could get them done in five minutes if I really wanted to which is like so much less time than it used to take me and I also really like how they're quite like light and feathered at the front and um, some days they're a lot like better and they're a lot more feathered it's hard to get that when you don't have any hair because you have to use the angled brush and you have kind of have to draw up but if you have too much product on your brush you get harsh lines straight away and it's kind of hard to work with then so you kind of want to make sure you have barely any product um but i'm happy with how that came out today and then i basically just combed them to make them look a little bit like more fluffy and I know I said in my like previous videos that I hate fluffy brows and I still do like I hate when they're like fluffy up here but I kind of like that this kind of looks a bit more natural and a bit more like real hair um, and then the tail is still defined as well which is what I love but yeah I think these brows are really easy and simple and they'll be perfect for school so I'm gonna go do the other one and I'll be right back cool so I'm gonna have my brows on and they're decent and I will say, like, if you have, like, a lot of brow hair and, like, your brows are shaped and they're, like, perfect as they are, you don't even need to fill them in. Like, you could just run a brow mascara through them and that would be fine too. Um, if I had more brow hair, I'd definitely just do that. I wouldn't even bother filling them in. But because I don't have a tail, it kind of makes it a bit iffy. But, yeah, that's, like, an alternative if you have brow hair and you just don't want to fill them in. You could just use the brow mascara. So now I'm going to move on to eyes and I mean when you're going to school it's not about like having like a full blown smoky eye or having like 400 different eyeshadows on. It's basically about getting stuff done that's quick and effective and getting out of there and just not having to get up super early which is what I didn't do in school. I used to get up so early and spend like an hour getting ready and oh, if I was to go back now I literally wouldn't bother because sleep is way more important like and you can do so much like smaller things that are more effective than like doing a whole bunch of like detailed work like you can just skim over a few basic bits and then you just look so much better and so much more like natural and like you didn't make a whole lot of effort which is kind of what I wanted for school anyways so I'm gonna prime my lids with a little bit of the Catrice liquid camouflage So I'm going to set that with a little bit of my um, Makeup Revolution translucent powder. And for school, you want things that are like, well, because I'm doing this as a drugstore, like you want stuff that's going to be affordable, easy and like multi-use. So for my eyeshadow, I'm actually going to use this um, super bronze from pennies so it's like a it looks like a roll-on deal but it's for your body when you have a tan and it makes you look like glowy and shimmery Um, I absolutely love this one I have tan on so today I'm actually gonna use it on my eyes as eyeshadow because it's like a creamy formula so that's what I'm gonna pop on my eyes today and I'm just gonna use my finger I'm just going to leave it like that because it's just like a wash colour on the lid. I did blend it out a little bit but you don't even have to do that if you don't want to. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to pop it on the other eye and then I'll be back. So yeah, that's basically it for the eyes. It's just a wash colour and that's all you want. I mean, I'd use a bronzer either and just have like a wash of brown. Or you could use a blush and have like a wash of pink. It's You just need a wash colour. If, if that, if you even like are bothered with a wash colour. You're just looking for something light. You don't need 300 different shadows. Just one colour, done. 
So for my waterline, I'm going to use Crybaby from Colourpop. And I know it, is, it looks lilac, but it actually looks white on my eyes. So I'm going to use this. If I had white liner, I'd use that. But I don't. So I'm going to use this. And I love that because it just makes your eyes look awake and like instantly brighter. So that's definitely a hint if you're feeling tired and looking tired. So I'm just going to conceal under my eyes now. And I'm going to set that with my Revolution press powder. So I mainly just focus the powder in the center of my face, just under my eyes to set the concealer and around my nose because that's where my glasses sit. And then a little bit on my forehead just because sometimes it can get a little bit oily and just my lip and my chin. But I don't bother setting my cheeks because I have dry skin anyway and it doesn't need to be set because it's not tacky or anything because the Maybelline Fit Me is a matte foundation. So there's no point in setting it. And I am actually going to add a little bit of blush today which is weird. But this one's from Kiko. It's the Blending Wave Multicolor Blush in 04. So I'm just going to add a little bit just to like bring some life to my face so it's not like all one color so for highlight I'm going to use the primary highlighter in ice and I'm just going to focus that on the high points of my face And I'm also going to highlight my inner corner and brow bone with that highlight as well. And I'm not going to contour just because I wouldn't personally because I'd rather like highlight and instead of contour so I'm just going to skip on the contour. You can contour if you want but it's just not something that I'm going to be bothered doing. And now for my lower lash line, I'm actually going to use this um, brow setting powder from the Sleek Brow Kit. And I'm just going to run that along my lower lash line. And I'm going to curl my lashes using my Primark Lash Curler. And I'm going to go in my Curl Power Mascara. So my last thing to do is the lips. So I'm going to line my lips with Rosewood Mauve from Pennies. So I just line my lips and fill them in with this lip liner because I think it's a really nice shade and it's kind of like your lip colour but better and also because the lip liner isn't going to move for the day and I'm just going to top it off with a little bit of the Purifying Lip Oil from Essence Um, I absolutely love this and it's so hydrating on your lips but it's not sticky at all I'm just going to pop a little bit of that just to give it a bit more of like a glossy effect And last but not least, I'm going to use a little bit of my Fix and Perfect setting spray. Cool. So this is the finished result. 
it's just really natural, really easy, and that's exactly what you want for going back to school. I will say you can go with the like wash of eyeshadow or you can leave it out, it's completely up to you. Um, I do think the white eyeliner is like effective in making her eyes look bigger and brighter. Um, I just have a little bit of mascara on. You can do lashes if you want to, but I don't know why you'd want to. <laughs> um, and then the lips are just something like easy and natural. You could just use the lip oil on its own if you want. Um, but yeah. I really like how it came out. It's really like fresh. It doesn't feel like I'm wearing a lot of makeup at all really. And I think something like this will be fine for school. It's quick, it's easy, it's cheap and affordable. So so yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. If you want to subscribe you can click here. And if you want to watch my most recent video, you can click here. Um but yeah. If you are starting school, best of luck. It's an exciting time. Um, it's a little bit stressful, but it is still an exciting time. And I'm sure you'll do great if you're going into an exam year. Best of luck. Um, if you're going into leave insert, don't worry about it. Like, just don't worry about it. Your results won't define you at the end of the day. Even though they try and tell you that it will, it won't. And don't, if you're in sixth year and you're like worried about what you want to do, like after school, don't, don't even worry about that either because to be honest, I still don't even know. And I'm 21, like going to be 22 soon enough. And there's no rush, like there's no rush on you to know what you want to do. So don't like feel stressed about needing to get enough points for something or anything like that. There's so many ways around different things as well and yeah just don't be worrying about it and if you're only starting good luck to you because you have a long road ahead of you but just have fun have fun and work hard but don't work so hard that you don't have fun because it's not worth it and they're like the best times of your life even though it's hard to know when you're there but yeah have fun don't take it too seriously. Seriously enough, but still be able to have fun and don't get too like caught up on exams and stuff like that. So yeah, I will see you in my next video and have a good one.